welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Ashley and I had a son eight months ago, well almost eight months ago, in September of last year. So today I am going to show you what I packed in my hospital bags. I make mommy lifestyle videos, so if you enjoy watching that kind of video, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any. All right, so let's get started in what I packed in my hospital bags. So first I want to tell you that I delivered at a hospital. I also did have a vaginal delivery with no epidural, no complications. Obviously going into it, you don't know what's gonna happen. Every time is always different, but this is what I found worked for me. Some of the stuff I am missing, because it was eight months ago, so I repacked my bags, and I will let you know what I used, what I didn't use, and if I didn't use it, I probably don't have it packed in here because I don't remember. So let me jump right in. So I took two bags, one bag for Lucas, and this is his diaper bag. It's a Skip Hop Grand Central. And then I had my bag. This is from Target. So let me do my bag first. So first things first, I have my toiletry bag, and I'll show you what I have in here. And this bag is from Target, and I absolutely love it. Um, it has a little hook, so that way I can just hook it's on the I hooked it on the bathroom door so that way I had everything in there I had a mirror this was handy to keep on the tray next to the bed just in case I needed to do a little makeup or wipe off my face whatever um, brush obviously I had all my basic toiletry shampoo conditioner the body wash since I didn't have an epidural or anything as soon as we got in the recovery room, I did shower, so I'm glad I brought all this stuff because it felt amazing to shower. I also have my face wash. And this bag I usually always have packed for my travel size stuff, so I just pretty much made sure that everything was in here. Um, my face lotion for after. This is my leave-in conditioner spray, which I love. Um, I have... I have my other two face scrubs just in case I wanted to wash my face even better. These are amazing. I love them because my face gets really oily, so I just keep these on hand. Oil pads. Deodorant. I brought my lotion, my Palmer's um, Stretch Mark Cream Lotion, just in case to rub on my belly for after. And then I brought a regular lotion mouthwash just in case I couldn't get up out of bed. Also if I couldn't get up out of bed I also have these whisks that I could have just used in bed to brush my teeth and just in case I couldn't wash my hair I had dry shampoo just so my hair wasn't a hot mess. <laughs> I also took with me nipple cream and toothbrush, toothpaste, obviously. Um, I also had my eye makeup remover wipes just in case I went in with makeup on. I didn't know what the situation was gonna be, so I brought those just in case. Clorox wipes so I could wipe out, down anything I wanted to. These are some refreshing body wipes just in case I couldn't take a shower. Also, not that I needed these right away, but I did bring um, four nursing pads just in case. I also brought some little washcloths, not for the baby, but for me to rinse my face off or anything, um, just in case I couldn't get up out of bed. I also had um, Dan's stuff in here, but I don't anymore, so I had his face wash that he uses. I had his travel size deodorant and then his um, face lotion that he uses. And then this is a must chapstick. Your lips get super dry in the hospital and especially during labor with all the heavy breathing, chapstick is a must. And then I had pads to go home in even though I didn't use these. Um, I'll make a whole nother postpartum video. To let you know what I used and how I used it. <laughs> so I did have these just in case. 
What else did I have in here? I had a little nail kit just in case I needed to file my nails or cut them because I didn't want to scratch the baby. I also had a whole bunch of little rubber bands in here. Um, and bobby pins so I could do my hair if I needed to or just pull it up. I have some Q-tips and some cotton balls. So that was all my toiletry bag. I did take a makeup bag, but I didn't take a whole lot of makeup. I just had my basics in here. So I'll show you what I have. I have my Smashbox primer that I always use. And then I have my Arbon, my Arbon powder because um, usually if I do a basic face, I do this powder and mascara and that's it. <laughs> so I have my Arbon powder and then my eyelash curler and my mascara. And then I also, I had this stuff in here but I didn't use, but I did have, you know, my basic eyeshadows and my basic brushes. And then just in case I wanted to do a heavier coverage face, I did bring my um, CC cream by Arbonne. And that is it for in here. That's all the makeup I brought. And after, at our hospital, they did do some really beautiful pictures right before we left the hospital. So I did freshen up. I put a braid in my hair real quick and um, put my powder on and some mascara and that was it. I had my wallet. I also brought this folder. This had my birth preferences. I didn't call it a birth plan because obviously nothing goes as planned. So these were just my preferences. I also had some other paperwork in here that I had to fill out to bring with me. And then they give you a whole bunch of paperwork, so I just had this folder to have everything put into it so I didn't get anything lost. I brought these water wipes. These were more so for me, <laughs> just to wipe off if I needed to. And then we did use them on baby too, just in case. And then these were more so for Dan, the Cottonelle wipes, just cause you know, you don't know how the toilet paper is gonna be at the hospital, so I brought these for him. And then clothes. So I'll tell you right now that when I was going through labor, I didn't get actually admitted in a minute until I was nine and a half centimeters. So I was in the triage room for that whole before time, which was only an hour, but I just stayed in the gown and that was it. And once I got into the delivery room, I actually was so hot that I took my robe off and they just laid the baby blanket on me. So that's all I had during birth. And then after is when I freshened up and um, wore this stuff. So first things first, I brought a light robe, which this is just from Target. And it was amazing to have just to put on real quick and to have on in bed if I was a little chilly and then for after I gave birth I did wear these two I have two nursing gowns and these are this one's from Target and this was amazing because I just wore it and you can easily pop your boob out if you for nursing so this was just a comfy nursing gown and that's the one I put on right after I took a shower. And then this is the one I put on in the next morning um, after I freshened up a little bit. This one is from, I believe this one's from Walmart. And this one's super comfy. Um, and it's also a nursing tank. This one has some padding, so that's nice. And then I brought flip flops for the shower because you don't want to go in there with no flip-flops I mean you can but I didn't want to so I wore these in the shower something I didn't bring that I wish I did was a towel 
they have towels there but they're very small and they're very rough so i wish i brought my own towel so that is one thing you should bring i also brought these slippers which i no i didn't end up using these but i did bring them just in case i wanted to walk around during labor or after so i did bring those just in case what i did wear i was barefoot during labor and during birth after I did put some socks on and where are they I just got these offline and they say and they're so cute they say baby you're worth it and I just wore these after to walk around in because they're very they're pretty thick and then they have that grip on the baby you're worth it is the grip that you can so you don't slip and then I just brought some other socks just in case when I went in I had sandals on so that's what I wore home to so I just had some flip-flops that I um, wore there and home also I brought these were gonna be my going home outfit but it was so hot that day and I wore um, just some regular short some cotton shorts there so I just wore them home as well but I brought these sweatpants to wear home and I didn't end up wearing these at all so that's that. <laughs> oh here's the shorts that I put on real quick to go to the hospital so I just wore these on my way home too and they were really comfortable. And then I brought a loose top. This is one of my favorite comfy tops so I brought this to wear home and that's what I wore. And then also I brought a nursing bra. I brought two of these. These are just from Amazon. I came in like a six pack. So I love these things. I live in them. So I brought two of them and I ended up wearing one of them, I believe, when I wore it home. And what else is in this bag? These are the underwear I brought. When I was at the hospital, I just wore the mesh underwear that they give you. I thought those were so comfortable and just held everything in but I brought these underwear to go home in and these are actually from Amazon they are menstrual underwear and these are amazing they have like this waterproof lining in here so there's no leaking and they fit very well and they go up a little bit higher so that way they just hold everything in and that was it for my bag uh, so Dan threw in his stuff the day of, or like 15 minutes beforehand, because I went into labor at 38 weeks, so I kept telling him, put your stuff in, put your stuff in, but of course he didn't. He just threw in some pajamas and clothes for him to wear at the hospital. He also um, threw in his toothbrush at the last minute, and I believe he brought a book too. So that's stuff you can pack for your significant other. Also in my bag, I had a few other things. Um, I had some tummy drops that I really liked. I'll link them below. They were the hard can ginger candy that helped me not be nauseous. I had some gum. I had my prenatal vitamins in a bag so that way I could take them after. I had my phone and the charger. I had my camera and the charger. I had headphones just in case and then I brought a little laundry bag. I threw all of our clothes in there after so it was easy to bring home. Let's see, let's jump into Lucas's bag and we actually didn't take this up um, at first. We only took my bag up at first. Uh, Dan went down to the car after Lucas was born and grabbed this bag. And this just has his stuff in it, which a lot of the stuff I don't have in here because it's packed away already because it doesn't fit him anymore, obviously. So things that I don't have in the bag but that I brought with me were two newborn sleepers. I'll insert pictures of the outfits we brought and so you can see. I also did bring this beanie for him that I got off Etsy with his name on it. Um, it ended up being a little too big, so we did just use the hospital blue and pink one but for the most part he just didn't have a beanie on at all because we loved his hair and it wasn't cold in the hospital so and it was perfect. I brought a zero to three months sleeper just in case I wasn't sure what size he was gonna be. For his going home outfit I brought a onesie and some little pants which it, he was born in September so it was pretty hot so he just wore his onesie and then we put the um, car seat cover over him. All right so let's jump into this bag of the stuff I can show you. 
So this is the nursing cover that I have that I brought. It's also the car seat cover. So this is the nursing cover I have. It's the Bamboobies. And I love this thing. It just has the hole for your neck or the car seat bar. So you can drape it over you or the car seat. I also brought um, two pacifiers. We weren't going to offer him, but just in case he wanted them, I had his Webinum and then this little um, MAM pacifier. Because our hospitals, well, I think any hospitals don't have offer pacifiers anymore. We also brought... Um, a few diapers. These are not newborn diapers, obviously, because I don't have newborn diapers anymore, but I just put them in here just to show you that we had a few diapers. Not so much for the hospital, because they have all the diapers you need there and all the wipes you need there, but I brought them um, for going home. I also brought a big blanket for him just in case, which I don't think we even used that. I brought a swaddle which we did use a receiving blanket that we actually swaddled him into and you'll see in the picture that I insert that he was in this swaddle. Uh, we brought him some socks which he did use and mittens which he definitely did use because his nails were so long and he kept scratching his face so we brought him mittens too and then what else do I have in here? I had hand sanitizer. And I think that is it that I brought him. Yep, that is it. And that is all we used. So, that is what I packed in my hospital bag. I probably packed more. I'm almost positive I packed more. But the stuff I'm missing is the stuff I didn't use anyways. So this is all the stuff I did use. And if you're lucky like me, then you will get to take a shower when you get into the recovery room. Every labor and delivery is different, so this is what worked for me. And obviously, if you're preparing to have a C-section, you'll probably have more stuff. I did a lot of research watching YouTube videos and going on baby websites to see what I should take. And I felt very comfortable with what I took, and I'm glad I took everything that I did. Oh, one other thing that I did take that I didn't use, actually, I didn't even take it out of the car, actually, is the boppy. I just used pillows around me. The nurse helped me out to nurse him. Of course, I brought the car seat, which was in the car. So I hope this helped you with packing your hospital bag. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more mommy lifestyle videos from me. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.